Okay, so to get started with this tutorial today, I already have my brows on and my eyes are primed and ready to go. I am first going to take this bright orange shade and I'm just going to put this straight into my crease as our transition shade. I'm going to be using windshield wiping motions and then circular motions to further blend it out. Then using a clean blending brush, I'm just going to use this to blend out the edges, making sure that there are no harsh lines. Then I'm taking a matte yellow shade and I'm going to put this in the inner third of my eye. I'm really going to pack on the color because we do want that gradient of an orange to yellow, just like a butterfly's wing. Next, I'll be taking a nude eyeliner pencil and I'm going to start mapping out the wing. Since this is such a detailed eyeliner look, I just want to make sure I'm not going to stuff anything up. That way, just mapping it out with this pencil is just going to kind of give me like a security blanket that both eyes would be even and it just kind of gives me like a little guideline. Next, I'll be taking the NYX Matte Liquid Liner in the shade Black and I'm going to use this to start lining my eyes. First, I'm just going to create my normal wing like how I usually would in my everyday makeup. But then once I get towards the tip of the wing, I'm going to curve the wing and start drawing it into my crease. So make sure you just take your time with this. This part is very tedious and it's going to take a lot of time but the end result looks so freaking cool. Even though I'm taking it into my crease, I'm not gonna take it with a straight line. I am gonna make it a little bit bumpy, just like a butterfly's wing. Again, take your time with it. I have a lot of folds in my eyes, so make sure that you go above your natural crease. That way, when you look up, you'll still be able to see the liner and also the butterfly and all the gradient and all the hard work that you're gonna put in. So make sure you just go above your natural crease. And then once I got the basic outline done, I'm gonna go back in and start making the lines a little bit thicker. Around the corners is where you want to make it a bit thicker and you want to make everything curved because if you actually look at a butterfly's wing there are like no straight lines. Everything is like curved and circle. Okay, once I'm happy with that, I'm going to start bringing up another line from my lash line liner up into the crease liner. And I'm first creating like a curved triangle, not a straight triangle. Like I said, a butterfly's wing does not have any straight lines. Everything is curved. I'm taking the sides and making it curvy and I'm going to connect it with the liner into our crease. I'm going to do two lines, but that is up to you how many you want to do. You can go crazy, but because of my my lid space this is just what I can do but just notice what I'm doing here is that I'm creating I'm making it very curved I think that's another tip that I can give to you guys for this look is to take your time with it and make sure everything is like curved And then once that is done, I'm going back into my orange eyeshadow and just making all the colors more vibrant again and I'm also going to take the yellow as well and just really make that gradient more visible. Now I'm going to be taking the NYX White Liquid Liner and I'm going to use this to dot the little spots of the butterfly's wing. Make sure you are dotting it on the black part of the butterfly wing, not on the orange part. I'm making it more dense on the outer third of my eye and then just a little bit of speckles towards the inner third of my eye. Moving back onto the face really quickly, I'm just going to apply my foundation. I'm going to blend that in with a beauty blender. I am using more of a fuller coverage foundation today just because we're doing such a detailed look. You want to make sure your base is quite full coverage. Then of course applying some concealer under my eyes to conceal my under eye bags. Setting it in with some loose powder to make sure that there is no creasing. And then to set the rest of my face, I'm using the NYX Matte But Not Flat Press Powder. And I'm just going to stipple this into my skin. Taking a really warm bronzer, I'm going to use this to bronze up my face. I just feel like bronze skin for this look is going to be perfect and it's going to be very in theme. Thank you. 
Using a cool tone bronzer shade, I'm going to use this to contour my nose. Obviously, this step is optional and I'm kind of contouring my nose a little bit more harsh than my usual makeup routine just because, you know, we're going all out here. And then I'll take my beauty sponge and just blend out the harsh lines. To highlight, I'm just going to use a very light champagne gold and I feel like this is going to complement the yellow in our eyes and I just feel like it looks best with this makeup look. Moving back onto the eyes, I am just taking that bright orange shade and I'm just going to run that from inner to outer corner on my lower lash line, making it quite smoky. And then I'll be using a white eyeliner pencil to line my lower waterline. This is just going to brighten up our eyes and make it look more doll-like. Taking any lip color of your choice, I just decided to go with like a burnt orange just to go and theme with the eyes. You could go for like a black or like a nude, it's honestly up to you. But I just wanted everything to look cohesive and monochromatic. And now I'm just popping on some lashes. I made sure the lashes that I picked out weren't so dense but still dramatic enough. I didn't want them to be too fluffy where it's gonna block off all our hard work when I look up. But then I didn't want it to be too natural where it looked like I wasn't even wearing any lashes. But yeah, these are the lashes that I ended up picking to wear for this makeup look. Now it's time for the body paint. First, I am just taking a black eyeliner and just sketching out where I want the butterfly wings to go, where I kind of want these circles to be. Um, you just kind of want to map everything out. And then I will take my black face and body paint and start filling in all of the black edges. You just kind of want to go around these circles. You can kind of be messy with it. You can just get a rough outline first and then you can go in later and just really perfect everything in every corner. For this part, you can honestly do it freehand. There is no certain circles or squares that you gotta do. I feel like when you look at a butterfly, it's never perfect. It's always different from any other butterfly you'll see. They're always different. None of them are always the same. You want to make sure everything is curved and circled, that there is no straight lines or anything like that. Once that is done, I am just taking the orange eyeshadow and I'm going to fill in the circles. If you have orange paint or whatever color that you're working with, obviously use that, but I'm just working with what I have. And then once that is filled in, you can start creating the lines in the butterfly spot. Again, like with the eyes, you want to make sure everything is curved. So as you can see over here, I am just drawing swiggly lines in all of the circles, just doing a rough map. And then you will see over here, I will go into detail with my paintbrush and just really thicken up the lines, make everything curved. Um, this is just a very important finishing touch to make everything curved and make the lines quite thick. You can make some thin, it just gives off more of a realistic look. Now I'm just taking my white face paint and I'm going to start dotting on all of the white speckles. Just like the eyes, I'm focusing most of the white speckles towards the end of the wing and then less towards like the top of my neck. And now I'm just doing final touches. I just took some white eyeshadow, added some highlight, got some grey face paint and put it underneath the wing to create more shadow and just adding highlights where it's needed, shadows where it's needed to make it more realistic. And obviously this part is optional, but I am going to stick on some butterflies. I actually printed these out and just cut them out, put some double-sided tape on them and just stuck it to my skin and hair. Just placing it all over the place wherever it looks good, you know what I mean? And 
that is it guys this is the completed butterfly princess makeup look i hope you guys like it and i know it's something different but this is my entry for the nyx new zealand face awards so yeah i hope you guys like it don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you did comment down below your thoughts on this makeup but yeah that is it for today's video thank you guys so much for watching please subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you guys in my next video bye